In this video, I explain internal expanding shoe brake. So this brake is consist of two shoe. Name is shoe S1 and shoe S2, as shown in a figure. So here you see this is the diagram of internal expanding shoe brake. So why its name is given internal expanding shoe brake? So here you see this outer part is the brake drum, and inside the brake drums, the complete brake means all the component of the brake are installed that's why it is called internal why it's given the expanding so here you see this is the shoe this is the s1 and this is the s2 and this black color part is the friction materials or it is also called as the friction lining this is the operating lever and here the camp is provided these are the spring okay so when we operate the brake this shoe is expand and come in a contact with the brake drums that's why the brake name is given internal expanding shoe brake the outer surface of the shoe are covered with the friction material so this is the shoe and this is called outer surface so on the outer surface the friction material is provided means friction lining is provided so this is called as the internal surface of the shoe and this is the outer surface of the shoe on outer surface we provide the friction lining or a friction material each shoe is pivoted at the one end about a fixed fulcrum o1 and o2 and another end reset against the cam so this is the fulcrum o1 so suppose this is the shoe 1 then this is the o1 this is the shoe 2 so this is the fulcrum o2 and another end of the both the shoe are here connected with the cam means another end rest against a cam when cam is operated by using this operating lever the shoe are push against the brake drum means when we operate these operating levers this cam is operated and this cam is push the shoe towards the brake drums and the brake drums and the shoe are come in a contact and the rotating wheels or rotating members are stop the friction between the shoe and the drum produce the braking torque and resulting reduce the speed of the drum means when the shoe and the brake drum is come in a contact at that time some braking torque is produced and due to braking torque the speed of the drum is reduced and then after the drum is stop so this type of the brake is commonly used in motor cars and the light trucks even it is also used in a bike so in this diagram you see when we operate this operating lever at that time this cap is operate and this shoe is operate so when the shoe is operate this friction material is come in a contact with the brake drums and here some braking torque is produced and due to this braking torque the speed of the drum is reduced so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in card for other subject i request to visit the playlist